Seriously, if you have not tested this sauce, you are missing a lot. Guys, you need to test this my recipe because it tastes so good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by again today. I appreciate you all for always coming back to watch my video. You guys are so amazing. May God bless each and every one of you. And if you are new to my channel, you are much welcome. Today we'll be making a yemesi sauce. These are the things you will need to prepare this sauce. I will still put the names in the description box below. Though I twisted it a bit, but bet me, this tastes so good. I have with me 4 green bell peppers, 2 yellow bell peppers and 2 red bell peppers. You can go ahead and use one color of the bell peppers. For my proteins, I will be making use of cow tail. I also have some shake here. And over here is my liver. You can go ahead and use any meat of your choice. And here is my smoked mackerel fish. Over here is my zawa zawa. But if you have a roux, which is locust beans, go ahead and use it. Both of them are made from the same seed. And here is my red palm oil. I will be using some dry chili pepper. But you can go ahead and use fresh habanero pepper or any pepper of your choice. I have my grinded crayfish as well. And over here is my seasoning powder and my nut cube. I will be using one and a half bulb of onion and I have my five eggs already cooked. And finally, my meat broth. So guys, the first thing I will be doing now is to go ahead and blend all the blendables here, starting from the pepper, the onion and the dawa dawa. I will go ahead and cut my bell pepper and my onion into smaller shape so it will be easy for my blender to blend. Now I will add it inside my blender and start blending. Remember we don't need water to blend this so I will be using my wooden spoon to push it down till it starts blending well. Once you are done blending, you pour it inside your sieve and allow it to stay for 10 to 15 minutes to drain out the water. You can put your sieve inside your sink to drain out the water or you can use this method that I will be using now. Just put a small plate inside a big bowl, then keep your sieve on top of the plate and pour in the sauce, allow the water to drain. This is another amazing method you can use when making your stew. After blending your tomato, just pour it inside the sieve and allow the excess water to drain out. Now I will go ahead and blend the remaining pepper. I will also blend my zawa zawa and my dry pepper using this coffee blender. Please, if you are still watching up to this extent and you are not yet a member of my family, consider subscribing and enable notification. Please remember also to thumb up this video. Thank you. Remember you can use eel, that's locust beans for this recipe. I'm using this dawa dawa because I don't have that eel. But remember that both of them are made from the same seed. So this will come out very well in the recipe. So if you have dawa dawa, go ahead and use it, okay? This is one of the recipes I made during the lockdown and I enjoyed filming this recipe. My pepper blend is almost ready and this is the water that came out from it and this is ordinary water. You don't need to cook the pepper till the water dries out. Once you do it like this, you are good to go. I will go ahead and throw away this water. You can see how the water is looking which shows you that it's ordinary water. But this water is rich in vitamins so you can use it as your juice. But I'll be throwing mine away. No tossing and me tell you may you go drink a more. If you can, fine. <laughs> so let the cooking begin. 
I will first of all add in my palm oil and I will cover my pan and allow this to bleach. It will produce a lot of smoke so you don't need to leave your pan open when bleaching the oil. I will bleach mine for almost 10 to 15 minutes. This is how smoky the oil can be but I will leave mine to cool down for 20 minutes before I come back and continue with the cooking. This is how it's looking after 30 minutes of bleaching. You can go ahead and bleach yours more so that it will have that same color with your vegetable oil. But I think I'm okay with this. So the next thing I will be doing now is to add in my diced onion. Remember that half onion I removed that time. That's what I'm adding in now. So I will saute this for a while. After 2 minutes, I will add in my crayfish and I will follow it up with my dry pepper and my dawa dawa which I blended earlier. If you have fresh pepper, if you are using fresh habanero pepper, you can as well add it now. Stir and allow this to cook for 5 minutes so that the flavor will come out. After 5 minutes, I will be adding in my pepper blend. That's my bell pepper. Then after adding it, I will give it a good stir and allow it to fry for 15 minutes. If you are using aluminium pot, make sure you keep stirring it while waiting for it to fry for 15 minutes to avoid burning. But if you are using a non-stick pot, you can cover it and allow it to fry for 15 minutes. Then after 15 minutes, you can see how it is looking. You will see that the oil has started settling on the top. So I will go ahead and stir it now to make sure it's not burning under before I start seasoning it. Now adding your meat broth. Then follow it up with your meat. I will also add in my smoked mackerel fish. Now I will follow it up with my seasoning powder and my no cube. I will throw in my eggs as well. Now give it a good stir and combine everything together before you test for salt. Yeah, I think I will still add a little bit of salt. Just adjust the salt to your test board. Once you are done adding everything, you give it another stir and you cover it to cook for another 15 to 20 minutes, then it's ready. After 20 minutes, our sauce is ready to be enjoyed with any rice of your choice but normally you use this to eat of other rice but I will be using basmatic rice to enjoy mine. Guys you need to be here to perceive the aroma that is coming out from this sauce. So I will turn off my heater now and dish it out. This is my first time of cooking this sauce. Though I've ate it before when I was doing my youth service at Ondo State, Akure, but I tried it for the first time today and my family enjoyed it. We finished the whole rice. We ate it twice, guys. <laughs> this tastes so good. You need to try out this recipe. If you have not tried out this recipe, what are you still waiting for? So here comes the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to share out the video, thumb up the video, subscribe and also enable notification so that you will be among the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. God bless each and every one of you for taking out time to watch my video till the end. I appreciate guys, it means a lot to me. Stay safe, stay blessed and wait for my next video because this lockdown has made me made a lot of videos. I tried out new things this lockdown guys and all of them came out perfect. 
so guys bye and see you in my next one